Welcome Pokemon players to another episode of Discount Pokemon Dex. Today we're going to be doing some giveaways and uh, it's going to be Sun and Moon packs. So finally have enough that uh, I feel comfortable giving them away. So we'll be giving some Sun and Moon packs. Uh, this should be my first video with that giveaway so I'm very excited. Uh, I'd like to talk about the cost of this deck. Uh, this is a Shiftry Shinotic deck and I'm sure I'm saying that wrong but uh, Shiftry you should be able to get a 4-4 line like this for one to two packs of Sun and Moon. Uh, and this Shinotic, 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 <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to tell me exactly how how wrong I said this and how to say this, is uh, uh, for a 2-2 line, you can get these actually in the theme deck. So you shouldn't have to actually spend any cards on that. So if you do, it probably probably one to two packs. So again, for most of these cards in this deck, other than the staples, which you should be acquiring and, and have already, you know, it, most it'll cost you somewhere between two to four packs to acquire all these cards. So it's a pretty good deal. The focal point of this deck is Shiftry's extra sensory attack. For, uh, it does, for two double colorless energy, it does 60 damage. And if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this attack does 60 more, so 120. Pretty good, pretty good damage. Um, so our focal point is going to be this extra sensory attack. Of course, we're going to need double colorless energy, so that's one of our, because it's so special, uh, going to be part of our focal, uh, focal point. And what I like to call hand kung fu, which is cards like Judge and N that uh, change the uh, amount of cards, not only in your own hands, but in your opponent's hands as well. So that is the focal point of our deck. Obviously, we want to be able to attack with this doing 120 every turn, uh, at least 120. Uh, there's lots of synergy in this deck, and obviously the first one is going to be this card, uh, Shinotic. That sounds right, Shinotic. Uh, is this Illuminate ability? Uh, every turn, you may search your deck for a grass-type Pokemon, put it in your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So uh, the cool thing is... Even though this is a dual type, it counts as a grass for building up, so we can use this ability, this Illuminate ability, over and over again, uh, well, once per turn, to get Pokemon in our hand. And we could even get the basic, we get any one of these um, with Forest of Giant Plants, there's huge synergy there. Obviously, we can use this ability with other stuff, and we could build up these Shift Trees very quickly. This is a very, very useful card for grass, and I think it's got a lot of potential uh, in, in budget decks for sure. Uh, you know, obviously there's lots of synergies in this deck, and I'm sure if you've seen my other grass decks, you'll you'll know. Revitalizer is a big one. One of your Pokemon gets knocked out, no problem. You put two back in your hand. Of course, if you have Forest of Giant Plants, they go right back on uh, the uh, battlefield, and you get them right back in the action. Uh, of course, Level Ball is uh, kind of key in this deck because many of our Pokemon have less than uh, 90 hit points, so. Uh, that's why we're using a little more than Nest because we can get these Nuzleaf Stage 1s. Um, Judge, obviously, part of our uh, hand kung fu focal point and as well. Um, we have some float stones for our Shinotic. Uh, so it take, costs 2 to retreat, which we can use a double colorless if we need to. But uh, obviously it's better to have a float stone to accomplish that. So we have a 2-2 two -two line, two, you know, 2 float stones seems pretty reasonable. Uh, we have special charge here to get our double colorless back. I have two in this deck. I figure that's good enough. Um, like our Vespa Queen Raichu deck, uh, we have a town map. And I think it's important um, if you have a deck that only requires double colorless and that's all you're running, you don't want to play a game where you have two in your prize cards. And I think town map will help you understand exactly how many of your DCs are prized because that's the hardest thing to kind of pick up. You know, most decks you have 8 to 12, you know, something like that uh, of energy. So it's usually pretty easy to get what you need. But if you only have four, it's going to be difficult. And if they're prized, it's going to be even more difficult. Um, any, any deck where you can fit town map in is a good deck as long as you're collecting prizes. If you're stalling, obviously not a good card to have. Maybe, maybe in a stall deck you might want to know what you won't be, uh, won't be able to have, but it helps because when you do knock out a Pokemon, it's like you get to select the cards that you need, so uh, straight from your prizes instead of, I'm sure you can close your eyes and think of a game you played where, you know, you knock someone out and you didn't get the card you needed, or a game where you knock someone out and you did get the exact card you needed, so 
town map is very valuable for that uh, for that resource, for that ability. Uh, everything else in this deck is pretty standard. Uh, we've got two Lysander, three V-Seeker. I uh, put in two random receiver uh, just because help with these kind of draws. So these are pretty much all draw cards except for two Lysander. That's kind of extends uh, Trainer's Mail as well uh, to kind of help me get some of these other cards that I need into my hand. Uh, pretty standard. There's one card I did want to talk about that didn't make the cut and Maybe it could is Puzzle of Time. And the only reason Puzzle of Time didn't make it is because I have these cards here. Um, and they're a little bit more useful. Revitalizer is more useful than Puzzle of Time because I'm dealing with only grass type Pokemon. And same thing, you know, so if I have Revitalizer, Puzzle of Time, is that really going to help? Maybe, maybe I could swap out two special charge and a receiver, or trainer mail, something like that. Maybe it'd be worth it, but. I'm not really sure. Um, as the deck, as you get later on in the game with this deck, as long as you have these special charge and you're putting these um, four uh, uh, double colorless or three or whatever it is, your odds of getting them are greater because you have a smaller deck. So let's just think about it. Let's say you're about halfway through the game. You got two of your shiftries knocked out. So two of the DC are in uh, discard. The other two are in your deck. Let's say you're down to 25 or 30 cards. Well, now you play. A special charge and let's just say all four are there well now you have a very good chance it's like a you know one in six chance that you're gonna get it with the sycamore there's very good odds that you're gonna draw a double colorless into your hand at that point so you know and again if the, the game gets even later if you only have 14 cards in your deck well four of those are double colorless because you use special charge or even three very good odds that you're gonna or at least much better odds that you're gonna get one than uh, you would earlier in the game so this deck does take a little warming up to do sometimes, but uh, you know it's actually just like kind of some of the other grass decks. It's good from coming behind. Most of the time we're trading two for one. Uh, once we get Shinotic uh, set up, uh, we'll, you'll see you'll get a, your Pokemon set up a lot quicker. And in, if you think about it, getting them out of the deck and getting these ball cards out of your deck and using that slims your deck down so that, again, greater chance to get the cards you need. So we're going to take a short break and be right back with game number one. All right, welcome back. Well, this is interesting. We are facing another grass-type deck. Uh, this could be a GX deck, but let's just see. Let's see what my opponent has. Would I like to go first? I'm going to say no. Um... Mostly, I know my opponent has a grass type as well, but hopefully I get to attack first before my opponent does. Not a great hand. Hopefully he puts out a forest of giant plants so I don't have to. All right. Yeah, there we go. There's a forest of giant plants just like we wanted. Don't really want to see this, uh, Lurantis. <laughs> but let's see how this deck goes. Uh... Uh, the problem is we're going to be stuck with four fours of giant plants in our deck, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, chuck them later because you you can't play even though this is your opponent's stadium you can't play the same type of stadium on it. Oh no, vile plume! This could get ugly. This could get ugly quickly. I now I regret letting my opponent go first because <laughs> if he gets vile plume up very early, I'm going to have a tough time. Uh, you know, I'll probably have to play some end. Uh, but all these timer balls and float stones and all that is going to be uh, my revitalizer, everything. So I may have to try to knock out Mr. Uh, Vile Plume early. But, of course, you've got this big guy to deal with. So let's see how my, how my opponent's set up. All right, so he didn't get his uh, Pokemon the way he likes. Obviously, timer ball will be great right now because I have a shiftry in my hand. Yes, I got one. So... Uh, obviously, Nuv's Leaf. Let's get our Shifri going. Tempted to put the Float Stone on this guy, if nothing else, to get it out of my deck, because it's going to be a uh, a Millstone later on, and not having Special Charge too will really hurt me. So, Oddish, you got to go, buddy. If I can. Oh, this is an awful hand. No double colorless. No other Pokemon. So hopefully Shifri, 
Might survive. Uh, I'm hoping he doesn't get too more grass energy on this. Don't think he can at this time. Hopefully, we will not see Vile Plume yet. Well, most likely, we will. But he may not have a Float Stone before he gets Vile Plume. So let's see what happens. There we go. So Vile Plume is going to be coming out. No. Interesting. Maybe he has it in his hand already. Wow, look at that. That is some good coin flipping right there. So I guess he's going to use Dodrio for retreats on Vile Plume. I can not one shot him at this time. Actually, I cannot one shot him at all, so. It's going to be a little bit troublesome. This is kind of like a uh, Mega Sceptile here. I really, I really got to use uh, Sycamore here. Although these guys go, I don't have a way to get them back. I'm in a little bit of a jam here. Heck, I'm in a really big jam. Because if I play, well, I think I've got to go for Broke here. And get this Vile Plume. Wow, no double colorless. Can't play any of my item cards. I'm about one turn away from total loss. This is a good deck uh, if you haven't seen it yet, this Lorantis File Plume. So I think I'm done here. And uh, this game was quick. So we're going to give a, uh, a uh, pack away for uh, Lorantis GX. So that'll be the first secret phrase. Wow, we just uh, four minutes and we're done. So we're going to go into the next game right after a short break all right and we're back so um, not a good start here <laughs> we just got blown out of the water by vile plume and obviously that is going to be a uh, weakness for us having so many item cards uh, nothing I could do there and no double colorless uh, energy to even attack I don't need, it wouldn't have mattered all that much to tell you the truth um, what we really needed was getting more Pokemon out, different, uh, getting our level balls. I'm going to choose no again. I'm going to let my opponent go first. Hopefully not a mistake this time. Let's see what my opponent has this game. Uh, all right, so again, we have no draw here, so that's kind of bad. I will hope my opponent gets an N. Not the worst thing in the world if he doesn't because we're a turn away from um, getting our Shinotic as long as he doesn't knock it out. Uh, before we go the second turn, then we can get some more Pokemon out. This is a Mew Passimian, I'm guessing? Wow, this thing can uh, maybe striking quickly as well. This is one of my favorite. If you haven't seen my video on that, uh, this is definitely one of my favorite decks here. Um, it is so cheap, and uh, it plays so well. This is a great deck, so... If you want, you can uh, try to check it out. All right. All right, so we got a level ball here. We need to... Let's start with the nest ball because that is the easiest. We'll get C dot here. We're going to try to retreat this guy to our bench. I don't mind if he gets knocked out as much as I would uh, losing this guy because we he will help us get more Pokemon, so... We'll get a second C dot. Hopefully we can get an N or something going. Some kind of draw. And there's no point in playing Timer Bowl yet. Uh, that'll go next turn. We'll get a Shinotic and hopefully be able to start <laughs> doing something. Hopefully my opponent will bail me out here with an N. I mean, he doesn't have the greatest uh, setup right now either. He has the potential because, really, he can just fill up his bench with more Pacinmi and get one energy and start knocking me out. But no, I think he's. I think we're both kind of stuck in this dead draw here. So a little a downside to having... Oof. So he's using the Fling attack. You know what? We're going to give a pack away of cards for Fling. I thought he would, uh, he would use this attack and counter, but apparently not. All right, so... We are going to get our Shinotic. Oh, very nice. So we'll take one Nuzleaf. 
One shine attic. And I think I'm going to do this guy here. I'm not going to play my stadium yet. Uh, let's let's make a shiftry. And maybe I will play my stadium. All right, so we'll play the stadium. We'll put a shiftry here. The problem is we do not have any energy or anything to draw, so first one to an energy wins. I almost want to put a float stone on this guy and retreat him, but I don't see any need to. Uh, I'm in no hurry to get this guy knocked out because, you know, he can start generating some Pokemon here in a hurry. Looks like both of us kind of stuck here. Fling again. Is he going to go after the shift tree this time? Yep. All right. So can we get some draw here? No. But we can get more Pokemon. So we'll go with another Nuzleaf. And we're kind of uh, stuck here. So I feel like, uh, you know, how back in the old days, people would do kind of a, you know, hope for rain during drought times and do crazy and mystical things. I think I'm going to try something like that and hope I get some kind of draw, draw card here. Oh, town map. And it's, it's not even that they're all in here. All right. So my shiftery almost dead. We'll get a second one in play eventually we're gonna draw some cards I think before before we get knocked out and he can keep going after this guy if I really need to I can retreat one and use the other to attack but I have a feeling once I get a, some cards here and a double colorless on this guy it's gonna be a different story once he gets some new cards and put some Pokemon here we'll actually have a real battle Oh, he is one away from knocking this guy out. Again, nothing. So I'm trying. I'm getting these cards out of my hand. Well, I don't have a... Uh, I have to go for Shifri. I can't even go for another Shinata because I don't have the Morlull. Oh, yeah, he's in here. So well, that, may be that may be something to keep track of. You know, it's interesting. If he knocked this guy out, I'd be in a little bit more trouble, but... Because I wouldn't be able to build up all these Pokemon. But he's knocking this guy out. Hopefully one of us will get draw. He might have an N or something here. But he's withholding it because he knows I'm stuck in the water. Now we're going to give away another pack of cards. Stuck in the water. <laughs> so again, be one of the be the first on YouTube to say the secret phrase. And make me a friend in the game. Send me a trade offer. Only the first one that utters the secret phrase will win the prize. So if someone else has already said it, don't bother. And also, if you've already won one during the game, please don't win another one. Uh, I will not count. So And you will just spoil the fun for someone else. All right. Interesting. Fling again. Oh, he knocks out my shift tree. He's going to get a card from this. And I can build this guy up immediately. There we go. All right, so here we go. One, two. Put him in my hand. The most important thing here is getting a uh, double colorless in our hand. So again, I'm going to try to tilt the odds. So we're at 33 cards. I'm going to take every, every card I can out. Uh, probably not the revitalizer maybe not the float stone I have a feeling I might need it later so within reason so it's better to to use that on the C dot now there's a double color list there we go my opponents gonna get five cards this is great yeah he needed it too but here we go we've got that we've got the same number of cards so 120 damage And we're going to take this double color list for sure. 
since even if he knocks this guy out, I can use it for the next one. Uh, 120 will knock out a Ranguru, and we have a judge in our hand. We have the ability to get rid of Faded Town, not that it affects us at all. Very good. Revive. And he'll probably retreat and attack, put some more Passimian on his bench. Don't think he has the ability to knock out Shiftry, so that's maybe another advantage that this deck has, this 140 hit points. It's a little bit outside of some Pokemon range. You can think of a, a handful that do 130. So here we go. And again, the hand kung fu is going to finish. So I'm imagining Forest of Giant Plants, double colorless on this guy. Uh, play the Shenotic again for C dot to evolve. Play the Judge, and I don't even have to play anything out of my hand. And I've already put an energy, a stadium uh, from the new hand that I'm getting, and uh, a Pokemon. So this is pretty good. I think that I think my opponent's got a strong deck. I definitely like the uh, Mew Passimian combo. Oh, he's aiming. He's aiming for that's interesting. All right, but you know what the interesting thing is? I'm gonna play Judge, and that card's gonna go away. Wow. No, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. It doesn't matter. Uh, I want to get that Passimian out of his hand. Even though I have this other energy here, I'd love to play it, but we will go with the Nuzleaf. So I said before in the opener that this deck does start picking up steam as it goes along, and I think you're seeing it here. Uh, my opponent's struggling a little bit. Maybe the hand kung fu hurting him a little bit. Down to four cards. Uh, you know, I can do a revitalizer if I want, but there's no point right now. I think we're all good. And I don't even need the 120, so... To knock him out, we're going to put the special charge in our hand. The next might be the more lull. So I can get another Shenotic going. But I've got two set up already, unless he's got some energy denial. Uh, four to five, I'm up a Pokemon. Hand Kung Fu, he had a whole bunch of cards, seven or eight cards. Now he's down to four. Uh, not enough for his Oranguru. Just a little over it, huh? So I think he's got some tough, uh, tough decisions to go on here. And really, all I have to do is play some cards to reduce my number to his. So he's down to three here. All right, he's playing an N. And an interesting thing is you can use this Shinotic to put a hand in, card in your hand and not play it. <laughs> so, all right, so we're even now. Four cards each. No need to play anything, really. I'm going to draw one here. But as long as I can play something, I should be okay. If not, I can play the Judge anyway. Another revive. Yeah, my opponent looks sad. I would too. This is not a great hand for him. So let's see. I need three cards in my hand. I don't know if I can do it. Let's see. Even if I play this. Well, let's play the timer bowl anyway. Again, shrink my hand. That's almost okay. I think I'm just going to play the judge. Do I have a Lysander here? No. All right, let's play Judge. Let's play, yeah. All right, let's play Judge first. Doesn't matter. I can use this afterwards. I can get another. No, what I'm going to do instead, well, he's going to have four cards. So here, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Because to me, the most important thing is having the energy out. That's the thing I have the least of. We'll put that. Four and four. We're good. I don't even, I'm not going to. Evolve him, because I want to knock out this guy. I'm going to go with the end. I want to be able to make us both draw cards if needed. Of course, my opponent uses an end here. It'll be to an advantage. This double colorless on this Orangu 
Ranguru hurts him because he can't really <laughs> he can't get it out of his deck. I don't know if that was such a great play. He should have put it on a Passimian, if anything, so he can attack. So, uh, I. If you if you're going back and you look at that part in the video, why did he do that? Uh, probably a mistake. Hey, we all make mistakes. It happens. All right. See, my opponent has six cards. I can get up to six. I can do it with Shenotic. But I don't even need it for Mew. Although maybe I'll just target one of these Passimian and just knock them out. I don't really want to knock out the Oranguru because that double colorless on him helps me. And since the beginning, my opponent hasn't knocked uh, any of my Pokemon. Buddy Betty Rescue. Okay. It gives me more cards in my hand. I'll take that. I only have one option, the C Dot, which is great. It can go on my bench or he can stay in my hand. So it's something you have to consider when you play a deck like this. Uh, Shiftry. I think there's a Glalie deck that does the same thing. Uh, there's a few cards like that that if you have the same number of cards in your hand. There's lots of clever ways to get cards in your hand and keep them in your hand. So you have to kind of think, do I really need, what do I really need? And as long as my opponent doesn't have any energy removal, I feel pretty good here. Because these Mews are, even if he starts knocking out mine, one, two, three, I should be able to knock out his Mew, his other cards. Oh, another Oranguru. So what, what do we have here? Is there no another... Not another Passimian. It's probably prized for him. Another stadium. Okay. That hurts me a little bit because I can't put down the C dot if I need to. And my opponent has three cards. Can I get down to three? One, two, three. Well, maybe not. Might have to play Lysander or something. Maybe if I get a stadium with this trainer's mail. All right, let's try Trainer's Mail first. Oh, none of these help. No, nope, I can use a V-Seeker to play Judge. So, and I'll probably target a Passimian. So I can play whatever I want here, basically. I'm going to go grab a Judge. Oh, I can't do Judge and Lysander at the same time. So let's think for a second. What, uh, this is going to put a card in my hand no matter what. This won't. So one, and I'll still have one, two, three, four cards. He has three. So I don't have the ability to do what I want. If I play N, I'll give him more cards. So either I knock this guy out and take the damage, or I aim for one of his Passimian, and then I have to wait. Yeah, his Passimia won't do that much damage. Let's try that. So we'll go with that one for this this round here. No point in putting anyone in my hand at this point. So if he wants to, he can attack me with this guy. He can try to put a float stone in retreat and try with the Mew. So Hey, if he placed it the other way, my Pokemon would do 10 less damage, so. <laughs> or 20 less damage, excuse me. That's interesting. I didn't even think about that for Shifri for the dual type. Maybe, uh, what's that, Chaos Tower, where your dark types do more damage. But I think the stadium for this deck is clearly a uh, forest of giant plants. It allows you to get these Pokemon so quick. And I'm not even using Shinotic right now, uh, obviously, because of the Parallel City. If he does knock out this Shifri, he does. My opponent's low on cards. He's looking for that double colorless. How many are in his deck? Uh, so he's got one there. Probably has one in his hand. Maybe one or two there. So I think the town map, obviously. See, if you look at this, I just saw. So Faded Town, okay, that's fine in a deck like this. But Echo Arm, mm -mm, put a town map in instead of the Echo Arm. And that'll help him. He could have gotten the card out he needed early on or at some point. All right, so I have a decision here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Do I attack and take the damage? Should I Lysander his Mew? Hmm. 
I'm going to attack and take the damage. Because it's, it's 80, and I don't think he'll have 80 with just two there. So let's just try it. And if I use this to Lysander, one of his guys, I'm in the same spot again. Uh, we'll go with the Morlul just in case. So my opponent trying very hard. He probably has not the cards he needs to accomplish what he wants. There's <laughs> That's interesting. All right, so he's going to go after me with a Ranguru. Play an end, do some hand kung fu of his own. I'm okay because I've got three guys set up. I only need two prizes. Should be good. Should be able to pull this off one way or another. Could play the Forest of Giant Plants. I'll revive another Passimian on his bench. I mean, this is. He's got to attack with this guy. So he'll knock out this shift tree. He may, he may have a chance here. With a Ranguru. So maybe not a bad idea going with this guy. Not going to play that yet. Be better to play that after this turn. We'll fill up my hand with cards. And we'll go with another one. A C dot. And you know what? We're going to add a more lull. T oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. So stadium gone. Put a more lull here. So maybe get another Shinotic going. And we're not going to get the... We're only going to get the 60 damage, but... So I'm thinking that's doing 80. So I should be able to knock out this guy. He'll probably retreat and attack, attack with the Mew if he's got any double colorless. There's two in here. I mean, there's two on his Pokemon. Hmm, interesting. Single on his Mew. V Seeker, what is he going to play? Kukui. So that'll do 100 damage for a Ranguru. Good choice. All right. So I'm not feeling too much pressure here. I can get these Pokemon back, and I think I will. Oh, wait, do they go in my hand? <laughs> uh, it's still not enough cards here. Let's get another Pokemon in our hand. I'm going to hold these all here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This Mew will knock out this guy. If I have enough... Oh, I don't need it. If the Mew is attacking, I don't need it. So I'm fine with putting them all down, actually. I might as well have them ready to attack in case I need them. And actually, we'll use Shinotic to put... I have one more Pokemon. Again, thin out my deck. Maybe help get some of these other cards that I need in it. All right. So, Oranguru gone. We'll go with the Nuzleaf. So, again, uh, I can knock out this Mew without having the same number of cards. I have two Pokemon to achieve it. We should be good to go, so... Unless my opponent comes up with something. An Enhanced Hammer would be a good tool for him, but he still has four Pokemon <laughs> to go through. So, he'll knock out this one, even if it Enhanced Hammer is this one, and... Lysander's this one somehow. I think I have enough turns to eventually fend him off. So definitely a spirited uh, game from my opponent. Very good game. Uh, he, you know, I like get, you know, I, I, I do kind of. Uh, if you watch my videos, I, I get a little snarky if someone uh, does something at the end that's an unnecessary turn. But my opponent is definitely pulled out everything he could, every stop he could to win this game, and that's that's what you want to see in an opponent. And yeah, even here, retreating. Not sure why he did that, to get rid of a card in his hand. Trying everything he can to... 
to to get a win, which is good. All right, we got an ultra ball here. All right, so <laughs> interesting that he did this switch there. Not sure why he wouldn't keep it. He's lowering the amount of cards in his hand, maybe to get the Oranguru so he can probably, that's why, so he can draw another card, hoping to get another energy. I think that's what it is. My opponent's short on the energy. Can't get what he needs. Again, I think Town Map would be a good addition to his deck. All right. So I think you got a good idea of what, what how this deck works. Uh, escape rope. All right, we'll go with the shift tree here. Now it's funny. I may have a hard time dropping down the two cards if I need to. Oh, that's interesting play. So I need to drop down to, to one card, which I cannot do. Unless, no. Nope. How many do we have in here? No, I'm not going to bother to try. So he would have to retreat and probably attack with this Mew if he can. So a little creative uh, creativity from my opponent. Dropping down to one card so I could not match him with these two in my hand. So I should have taken a level ball after all, huh? Level ball, level ball, special charge, and then we'd be good. Well, he's got two cards now, so oh, back down to one. I won't be able to get that low. Which he kind of needs this uh, super rod right now. And he needs to retreat this Passimian. Which he's looking for an energy to put on the Mew. But even still, if he puts this Mew down, I'm going to attack it and kill it. So again, unless he's got... An enhanced hammer to knock off my energy. I'm I'm feeling okay. <laughs> that is a good play. Is he gonna try to wait me out? He only has four cards here. Oh, he's gonna knock out the rest of my guys. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so now I definitely need a double call list. I will be playing special charge. All right. We'll get two of those back in our deck. Uh, very crafty here. So I'm going to drop down to one card. Almost not worth it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to whoever I'm playing. I am so sorry. That was uncalled for. Well, good game to my opponent. Right? That's game. Wow. That was totally worth it. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to end on that note because I, I don't think you, could, you can't top that. You can't. That was awesome. I just needed one card. The only card I needed, uh, you know, perhaps the other thing would have been the float stone. But I think you get an idea of this deck. The, the Shinonix really help out, get you, uh, get you the Pokemon that you need in your hand with Forest of Giant Plants. Um, Shiftry, this extrasensory attack, doesn't always hit for 120, but I don't think you always need to. Um, I think the hand kung fu, you know, if you think about, well, well, sometimes you're only hitting for 60, and that's true, but I think that playing the judges uh, really will hurt your opponent. If he's winning early on, you play N, and that'll also hurt your opponent. I think, again, as this deck builds up towards the end, it gets a little bit stronger. Um, and again, if you're playing N and your opponent only needs, you know, two prize cards left. Well, it's going to hurt him. He's only going to draw two cards. So uh, I think this is a well-balanced deck. I don't think it's the strongest deck. Honestly, I think uh, Passimian deck was stronger. I'm, I'm surprised I beat it. Uh, the Lorantis deck, uh, Vile Plume, of course, is going to wreck, you know, I have so many item cards in, a, in my hand, it's going to wreck it. But in any case, I hope you enjoy the video. And until next time, if you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button so you'll know when our next video is released. Also, check out our playlists where you can find videos by topics like Mildex or Cheap EX Decks.